Hey everyone, this is Juna from Detour Shirts. Today I'm going to walk you through my first t-shirt design tutorial using Affinity Designer. I'm just going to use the elements that I've we've used in some of the older videos. You'll notice the clip art here and this is the unicorn from a former video. And we're just going to use a couple of fonts, Cooper Black and Thirsty Soft Extra Bold. Thirsty Soft is a font that you can buy on myfonts.com and it's part of a font family and there's different weights and this weight I'm going to use is extra bold. I'll put the link in the description where you can find that. So the shirt that we're going to design looks something like this and I'll show you how we got to that point. I'm going to zoom out here and if you click this artboard tool you can make the artboard a little bigger, so I'm going to do that here just to give us some room. And I'm going to select this here. And we're going to start by putting the unicorn in the middle here. And I want to just kind of use the rotate function. You notice if you put your cursor here, it'll start to turn, it will give you this symbol here and you can just hold it down and turn. So we're going to do that so he's lined up. And then we're going to use Cooper Black. And if you double click, you can start typing. I'm going to do this in all caps, the word big here. Let me just zoom in so we can see that get a little closer and just to fit it right under here right under the the legs whoops no nope, I didn't want to do that alright and then for the color I'm just gonna take the same color that I used for the outline of the unicorn just click on the circle here to get the eyedrop tool and hold it down and then release on the color and then you when you click it again you'll pick that color. Now for the word sister here we're gonna use a thing called type on path so first we need a path we'll use our pen tool here and make a path kinda just click there click and drag and then click here so make a nice round path and with this tool here, we can adjust it. So we'll come back to adjust it. And then right here on this artist text tool, if we click on that, and we just hover right above the path, you'll notice it changes from an A to a T with a squiggly line under it. You want that T with the squiggly line under it. And you click. And now you'll notice that we can actually type on this path. Now it's using a different font. Um, let me highlight that and make sure we're using Cooper, all caps here. And we'll type that in. And we can move these triangles here all the way to the edge. And you notice it's kind of close together, so we need to adjust the kerning on that. So the way you can do that is hold down Option and click your arrow right tool and just click arrow right. And then move that in between the other letters that you want spaces to, holding down Option as you, as you click to increase the kerning. So move it, hold down Option, click, 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 click release option, move it to the other letter and click 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 just like that. So you can kinda move things back closer together by going left instead and let's just play around with this a little bit get it right. Okay right when you have it the way you want let's just move it up here kinda like that and that's where we're going to put that. Next we want to put these words I'm going to be a um, 
and let's just use the text tool here and we'll start typing I'm so it's using the Cooper font from before so let's turn that back to the thirsty font thirsty rough no not thirsty rough sorry that's another one thirsty soft lowercase I'm going and let's use the extra bold so we're gonna double click on this and instead of medium click extra bold up here I just like it a little thicker so that you can see it better um, we're gonna just size it down a little bit and we'll copy that and then type in 2b and copy that while holding down option and clicking and dragging it'll copy your text and I'll just type in A right there there you go kinda line it up fill that space now what you want to do is when you design a t-shirt you want a tall rectangle shape so I'm gonna click here in the rulers this here and then drag you can drag guidelines so I'm gonna drag a guideline here I'm gonna drag a guideline here kinda of the center um, this word big is your center area so kinda make that the center and everything else center off of that so let's just make sure that centered here okay there, that's kind of looking good. It's a tall, let's show you what I'm talking about. See that tall rectangle shape right there like that? That's what you want for a t-shirt design. All right, so now we're getting really close here. So the only other things that we need are these stars. So let's go back to our clip art. We'll just grab the star here. And by holding down option and dragging, you'll copy it and we'll bring that copy over here and let's just when you grab the corner here and hold down shift it'll keep it the same proportion if you don't hold down shift then you can make it any proportion in here so grab a corner hold shift and drag and we can make it the size that we want and of course we can rotate it like this and let's just start filling in the space with some of these stars here. So hold down shift and turn. Put another star here. I'm again I'm holding down option and I'm dragging to copy it. And then I'm just rotating it here. So we'll put another star here, turn it. another star here and try and keep it inside of the line that we made the guideline just so that everything's within that rectangle all right so we got our stars we need to color it so I'm gonna click on all the stars here and then with my eyedrop tool I'll pick this pink color in the main here and then change it to that and then the last thing we're going to do is add some dots so we can go to the ellipse tool click on that and we're just going to add a small circle here just that same size and then with that circle we're going to copy it and drag Use your option and then drag those circles to the different points you want. We are here, a couple more. And we want that those circles to be a different color. So again, click all those circles. And our eyedrop tool, we're gonna make it this uh, color right here 
and click it and there we go that's our design pretty quick once you have all the components um, and I, I think it turned out great you learned how to do text on a path here we we learned how to do a shape and making it a different size and using different fonts so this is a good first first design for us for this tutorial um, let me know how you liked it this is it for this video we'll try and do more videos in the future and thanks for watching this video and if you like this don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye